On this week's show, I fire up the Everlast Power Ultra 206 Pi for the first time, and I give you my first impressions of stick mode. I'll show you straight. The footage you see comes from last Sunday, but I want to keep to a schedule, so the first thing I did, install the right plug. And the right plug means we have power. You see, I sat on this footage from a week ago because, uh, as you're watching this probably right now, I'm shooting my next video. Joe, my friend Joe and I are going on another off-road adventure, but as you can hear, this thing hums along pretty well, and I was pretty impressed with the Quick Connect leads. I really like what I see. So, rather risk it taking way too long to edit up the footage from, um, well, this Sunday, our off-roading escapade. You guys now have your regularly scheduled two-week content. Ground clamp has a nice firm feel to it, good clamping power. I really like it, and that goes for the stick electrode or the, the stinger. There you go. Uh, super clamping power. So as default, the machine comes on plasma mode, so you stick it over, and um, I, I love the dial-in adjustability of this machine. So as you can see, I had backed it all the way down to 85 amps, and unfortunately, I goofed up. I bought 532nd inch rod when I meant to buy 332nd inch rod. So as you can see, uh, we really struggled to start, to start an arc. But after a few tries and going up about 15 amps at a time, um, I was able to start to, to see a little bit by little bit improvement. This is about 115 amps, 120 amps, I think. I remember right, and, and I was able to hold the arc, it was a little weak, but it was really, really kind of a struggle. So I went ahead and turned up just another 15 amps, and uh, we final set, finally settled on 135 amps to, uh, to, to run our first test bead. And uh, well, as you can see, uh, it was quite a bit more successful. So. Uh, finally, I got to hear the, this being a DC machine, what that uh, sizzling bacon sound is everybody talks about. Uh, the, the AC welder I used to have, I never quite heard that, but uh, this is my first pass ever on the Power Ultra 206 Pi. And I gotta say, even with 530 seconds rod, this machine was handling what I was throwing at it. So I'll let you guys be the judge. You can see here's what it looks like before the slag is popped off. And uh, this rarely happened before, but you can see a nice clean bead, one swing, and that slag just obliterated. So I feel pretty good about it. There's a little bit of baking on the edges, a tiny, tiny bit of undercut on the edges, but all in all, pretty impressed with the first bead I ever laid down with this machine. Um, I, I Early returns are, I think I made, this was money well spent. Um, I'm hoping to try out the plasma cutting function here before long, but yeah, uh, long story short, my early, early returns on this machine is I am quite impressed. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching. You can now follow me on Twitter, at Straight6Fan, and if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. But hey, till next time, peace out.